Hello guys, welcome to Infinity Design. I am Engineer Munaro Khan, CSWA, your instructor. Today we will be analyzing projectile motion using SOLIDWORKS motion analysis and then we will plot the results. So let's go ahead and open the files. We already, uh, I already made those files. This is the ground which is le whose length is about 20 to 30 meters. You can, you can adjust it, that if you need these files you can also ask for that. right? Now what we will do is we will start by making assembly. Yep. Make sure that make sure that the coordinate systems are aligned. Uh, the origin of the path and the origin of the assembly must be same because the motion analysis zero will start from the assembly origin. So let's first make this thing float. Okay and then go to the mate command and we will mate these origins okay that's done now we insert the other part that's the ball okay yeah so keep keep in mind that when you insert a pie a uh, part on the origin so it it will not move okay so thing is you should make this float this ball okay right and uh, you should suppress all the other mates okay okay so we also don't need this mate okay so we got all these uh, these two things assembled make sure that the ball is uh, set to float okay not fixed right this should be fixed okay yep the ground is fixed this thing should float right so this is the assembly these are the assembly parameters they need to be done now we'll start with the motion analysis first of all we should activate the solidworks motion then we'll click here motion analysis Okay, mm. as you move ahead, disable the play playback of few keys, that depends on your requirement. Okay, uh, before going ahead, set the units to meter per second, MKS. S other thing will be to analyze the motion at least 100 frames per second to get a very accurate motion. Use a precise contact. Then simulate gravitational acceleration in negative y direction and we will add the contact between these two bodies and uh, yeah we don't we don't we are not going to specify the material friction properties we will go for we directly go for the restitution coefficient that's 0.75 you can give it 0.10 whatever you want to okay but if you if you have if you already had uh, these properties of materials so you can add that right click ok now what is left is as the projectile motion starts so it starts with some initial velocity so let's give it some initial velocity to our ball ok first of all turn off this origin stuff now click right click and click on the initial velocity let's give it 15 and select this thing okay okay sorry it's it's, uh, it, it's asking for the direction of the velocity so this is the direction that's it so it's all set almost now what we will be doing is we will plot our first parameter that is to trace the path of this ball right this is the center point which it should trace okay now click ok so all done uh, turn off the sketches okay set this now we'll just start to analyze the uh, steady 
and we can see that the projectile motion has started, but it seems like the velocity is very high, so it is surpassing the, the ground we create. So, okay, we will stop the animation here, okay. we will go back, we'll click here, initial velocity is 25, so we'll, we'll, let us make it 5 or make it, yeah, 5 is fine, I guess, yeah. Or, or let's make it 10 okay make it 10 <coughs> and let's reanalyze the yep now you can see the projectile motion is, is moving and the velocity is decreased so it's it's bouncing on the floor we provided we also simulated a contact between these two so that's why it's doing that let's see uh, how the animation goes and that's it now it's going to fall all the way down but our animation has completed so it will stop now the th next thing is you can plot all the all the data here from this results bar okay let's tra let's trace the path of the center mass position we should be selecting the y component okay and click on this ball that's it so this is the this is the plot for the center of mass position of the ball you can see that it starts from the zero it travels to a height and uh, then it goes down and down and down it's the vertical y position of the center of the mass it's going along in the time so you can also export this as excel sheet where you can find all the accurate values so this is how we plot the data you can plot any type of data here in these categories you can find the forces find the anything you want so this is how it's done if you want any specific results you can leave a comment in the section below and uh, this is how it's done i hope you like the tutorial guys if you want any questions to be answered please inbox us and uh, we'll be much obliged to assist you till next video peace out